got time to move out of this place. It's taking forever. Not really. I mean, this is my second trip. I can't afford the place. I can't. I'm not getting paid enough for my job. Barely made a dent yesterday and took out 12, 13 boxes. Yeah. It's going to take a few days to get out of here. It is, man. But at least they're organized boxes. Easy to stack. Easy to stack. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's go. Yeah, well, this is my second trip with the... Not the van, but my second trip with the, the cart. Yeah, it's loaded down right here. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, it might work out. It will. I mean, if I can look at what I knocked out. Just loading up that stuff. Yeah. All you have is the furniture in the back. Which is going in the garage. And whatever goes into the um, garage with it pictures that kind of thing yeah but look how high that thing is stacked how am i gonna get my butt up there i guess i'll have to climb on these rickety things right here climb on this to get up to that yeah i don't know yeah let's see what happens all i have to do is just get this stuff out and i'm good to go i save 180 dollars a month or oh, 170 my bad but I guess it helps to have things in boxes. This crap right here. This stuff. Whatever is not in a box is going to be the worst thing to move. The hardest thing. I mean, these little things right here are going to be one single trip. Because you can't stack boxes or anything on them. Of course not. All this is like one trip. That's like going to be laid down in the front seat right there. Yeah. Everything is stacked up like Tetris through here. There's probably another 60 boxes. But if I get it just right, just like this here, it'll go quickly. I might be able to get another load when I put this in the van. I don't know how much I'm going to get. Yeah, all right. Making progress. I miss these things. I did a good job. I tried to. Yeah, I tried to do something. I did. School didn't work out the way I wanted it to. It didn't. It didn't. I don't have the high paying job. That's going to make me feel like I accomplished something in life. All right, it's working pretty good, I guess. Yeah, this is going to be my second trip and look how much I've unloaded out of here. It's back to the furniture. That's cool. And I'm so glad there are not a lot of boxes over here. These are two cabinets in my dresser over there. So I can't really see back there in the corner. I can't see, but I think it's a giant cabinet. Yeah. So there's three cabinets right here. One, two, three. And there's two more right here. I know how to play Tetris. But most of that is furniture right there. It's cool. A lot of brown antiques. Cool stuff, you know? Yeah. Buildings and all in these boxes. Well, not this one. Yeah. But we're going to make it good. We are. It's going to be two more trips tomorrow with the boxes. We're looking at maybe five or six more trips, maybe. Probably two or three tomorrow. We might get it down to the furniture tomorrow. But I don't know what to do next. I mean, I know I'm going to keep getting the boxes out of here, but all the stuff that's not in boxes is going to be the hardest stuff to get out of here. Like the pictures and all. The pictures are going to be okay. I can stack those up. Like lean them. On one another. Kind of like this. But stuff like that is going to be hard. That's like one trip right there. Yeah, because nothing can go on top of it. I don't know what to do with that. I don't. Yeah, I got the rugs. More boxes back here. Yeah. But it's getting down to it. It is. 
Yeah, that's all I can get in the van right now on my second trip right here. I got to put this back in here. Leave the ladder. Yeah, man. Six long years and I'm not even moving out. I'm moving out of here. But I'm just transplanting it back into another location. It sucks, doesn't it? I'm not taking it to a new apartment. I'm not. I hope God really bails me out with this lottery tonight. $1.6 billion. I don't need all the money. You can believe that I would change a lot. I just want to live comfortably. No debt. But God already knows that. That's why God is making me do this. Yeah. He's making me do this to release myself of debt. Yes. But making me get this stuff out of here to save nearly $180 a month. Yeah. He's got, he's got me getting down to like five bills so far. Before you know it, I'm going to get it down to three bills. Financially, debt, food, and gas. Well, insurance for the vehicle. Yeah. But I'm trying to knock everything down to the best of my abilities because the job doesn't allow me to keep the storage unit. I can't afford it. I can't. I don't know. Time to go. It's getting there, yeah. All these boxes. I think it's going to take a while to get the art pieces out of here. What do you think? There's still little boxes down there, though. Basically, I have to rearrange to get to the other boxes. The art pieces are going to be taken last. Furniture second to last. Yeah, it's getting out of here, though. It is. I can't believe it. This song gonna be like five trips of four to boxes, that is. Yeah, two yesterday, first trip today. So we're talking about one, two, three. I'm talking about enclosed boxes, not that that's an art piece in there. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we're going to knock out 13. Yeah, we're going to knock out the boxes next trip. Later on today. Yeah, well, can't forget that one. Yeah. But these boxes don't count because they hold art pieces. The art piece is going to be the hardest thing to take out of here next to the furniture. Yeah, but old stuff in there. My rugs are in this big one here. And then there's another little sneaky box I think I saw back there somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, welcome to my life. Jeez. I'm sorry, guys. It's got to be done like this. The job doesn't give me a chance to afford this place any longer. I haven't even started the job. <laughs> it's hilarious. I have to build it up just so I can pass the credit check to even get a place. What a life. Not Da Vinci style. Getting down to it, guys. Yeah. Almost completely cleared out. Probably about three more trips. Nah, more than that. My bad. Down to the little bit of furniture and some pictures. <laughs> the big ones. And some random stuff. Yeah. Gotta make sure those are secured. They can't bang against anything or else they'll chip. 
Yeah, that plaster stuff. The stuff you get at Garden Rich. I think you have this stuff out here. I got a Garden Rich. Because I'm a garden type of guy. Yeah. We'll load that up. First trip today. Man. What a life. What I need to do is get a house. If I get an apartment, where am I going to put the rest of my stuff? But there's no way I'm going to be able to afford a house. Not now. Maybe after the code is done, I'll be able to afford a house. An Italian villa style in Buckhead. With a big workshop. Yeah, like the good old days. Man. It's taking forever though. It's taking forever. It really is. All because of traffic, basically. Yeah. But that's going to take up more than half the van right here because these bad boys have to be laid down. It's going to take up the bottom of the van. Let's hope I don't break them. They were expensive. Like $50 to $75 a piece. The smaller ones were more expensive than the bigger ones. Because they had Da Vinci style on them. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to keep that tabletop back there. A dining room tabletop, I'm not keeping that. I forgot I had it. Yeah, because I'm starting over when I get out. I'm starting all over again. Brand new everything. Well, not my pictures, of course, not my art. Some of the furniture I'm keeping, of course. Obviously, I'm keeping everything you see. But everything else, I need new everything. Washer, dryer, microwave, TV sets, anything. Mattresses, couch, loveseat, chairs, dining room set. You're talking about $10,000 worth of stuff I need just to start off my new Da Vinci life. Whenever that's going to be. Almost out of here. I'm just down to a few pieces of art, a lamp, random stuff. You're still looking at maybe three trips. Well, it's because the furniture is so big. These are, that's one trip. That's another trip. But something can go on top of this. Got to be careful with that cabinet right there. Antique, probably 1890s. Yeah, those two things is one trip. There's one, there's another below that. They're seven feet tall. And then smaller furniture right there. It's going to be rough. It is. I got to get it all out by the first. 
I don't want to waste half the week next week, my final week of freedom. Moving stuff out. <laughs> but that's just random stuff over here. Easy to get out of here. It can go anywhere. Yeah, that's going into the dumpster right there. Because I threw the legs out and I couldn't get to the table. My model making table. But when I become famous, I'm going to have many model making tables. Da Vinci style. All right. Let's get this out of here. Let's go ahead and just throw this in there. Oops, can't do that. Man. All right. Well, I'm going to be left with a few more things. A few more random things. Man. Like those things. Oh, man, that weighs a ton. I got 20 minutes to get this stuff in the van. Oops, don't ruin the painting, buddy. So where am I going to put this? I can't put this on top of my model. Or can I? Yeah. Let's do this. I know it's a piece of garbage. It's just a practice run. On a, yeah, a practice run on a $20, $20 piece of canvas. You dummy. <laughs> yeah, not Da Vinci style. I think these might have to go later because they're going to get ripped apart. And then they have always been ripped apart, haven't they? That one's broken like 10 times. Man, I can't wait to get back into my art. This one's held up pretty nice in here. Maybe I'll add some extra stuff to it later on. Yeah, you notice the blues and the yellows? I know you do. Help you see the light. All right, let's go ahead and lock her up. It seems like I didn't make much of a, a dent today, does it? Oh, well. All right. It keeps, keeps on going, doesn't it? Yeah, check it out, everybody. Look. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost out of this place. Yeah, I know I sound pretty hoarse. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why. But yeah, almost out of this place. Two big pieces of furniture left. Yeah, that's it. And then, of course, the things that take up half the damn vehicle itself. Well, let's do this thing. It's almost done. Let's turn on these lights. Yeah, just a bunch of random stuff. So you're looking at about two trips. One for the big pieces of furniture. And everything else. Let's hope they, my babies don't break. Yeah. I don't know, very fragile, but let's keep going. It's been a long road, it has, all for nothing. Except a bunch of uh, random stuff that I got to be careful with. So yeah, time to move out of this joint, man. All done. Been in here for six years. Yeah, but I'm sorry I'm not moving out into my own apartment or my own house. That's what I really need. I need a house. I don't need an apartment. I want a house. A nice. Italian style house, villa, Italian style villa, worth a few million dollars with my garden and all, yeah, a studio space, lots of space to do my art, yeah, all right, we're about to move out of here.
done. Clear it out. Look at this. That's all I have left. Yeah. We're out of this joint. I'm about to save $170 a month. Man. Everything's out of stores. Oh well. Unfortunately, it's not going into a nice place to live. Not my place to live. It's going to somebody else's. Which means it's more moving I have to do when I move out. <laughs> yeah. Six and a half years in this place. Time to go. Turn off the light for the last time. Let's get out of here. Don't have to lock her up. Anymore.